Hi there. As you might know, the VMware Tanzu application platform just released Beta 2, which includes several new development-focused features. I'm Anushka Makija, one of the product managers behind this release, and I'm here to show you some of the capabilities that you can try out with the release. Let's dive in. Let's say I'm a developer, and I'd like to begin development on a new Spring Boot application. This application will be running on the Tanzu application platform, so I want to make sure it's configured with everything it needs to run smoothly. I start by going to the Application Accelerator for VMware Tanzu. Application Accelerator allows me to kickstart my application development and drastically reduces the amount of time and energy I need to spend understanding and writing YAML. Within Application Accelerator, I can search for the type of application I'd like to create. I want to create a Java web app, so I search for it, select Tanzu Java web app, and can explore the project files before actually creating the app. I go ahead and name my application, and I put an image repository that I have write access to. I hit create, download the zip file, and open it up inside my IDE. In my IDE, I've got my Tenzu developer tools for Visual Studio Code, the IDE extension, installed. It's a VS Code IDE extension that our team put together to help you interact with your Kubernetes cluster from directly within your IDE, bringing the Tanzu application platform directly to the interfaces you're already most familiar with. Now that I have a basic app, let's say I want to try out a bunch of changes and see them running on the cluster directly. From within my IDE, I can kick off Live Update. I can do this either from my command palette or the context menu. The live update capability leverages Tilt, a dev orchestrator tool to help stream changes to the running container on the cluster. The first time you run this, it'll take a bit of time for the image to build and for the workload to start running on the cluster. However, in subsequent runs, even if I stop live update and start it again, it'll be quicker, taking advantage of caching capabilities provided by the platform. My workload is now up and running on the cluster. And if I navigate to the URL for the app, I can see it in my browser. If I make some changes from within my IDE and hit save, I see that the container is updated. And when I go back to my browser, I see the changed workload. I can also stop live update or disable it completely. Now let's say something is going wrong in my app and I'd like to debug it. With the Tanzu application platform, I can do so directly on top of the cluster. I set a breakpoint and select that I'd like to debug. Now when I hit my endpoint, I see that I'm hitting the breakpoint in my IDE and that the network status is pending. Now I can step through or play through all the way to the end. When I do so, I see that the network request has succeeded all the way through and the app is running as usual again. Our goal with these capabilities is to allow you to get fast feedback of what your changes will look like directly on the cluster, reducing the number of unknowns and allowing you to see what your app will look like on a production-like cluster far earlier in the development process. Our hope is that this reduces the back and forth for debugging that usually accompanies deploying software to production environments, especially more restricted ones. We look forward to you trying it out and sharing what you think, and to continue growing this experience for you all in the future. Thanks so much for watching. To learn more, please go to tanzu.vmware.com.